I'm Tiffany with Garage Monkey coming to you from Hollywood Electrics in Hollywood, California. And this is the world's first all electric motorcycle dealership. And I'm so excited because today I'm going to learn to ride for the very first time. So let's go inside and check it out. We're here with Harlan Flagg. He's one of the owners here at Hollywood Electrics. Cool name, by the way. So, how did you get into owning an electric bike shop? I've been in a uh, motorcycle enthusiast for you know, as long as I can remember, and uh, I'm actually also an electrical engineer. I went to school, studied electrical engineering, so impressive. I, I think uh, it was a great way to combine my two passions. <laughs> are you finding that there's a lot of buyers for electric motorcycles that are transferring from owning a traditional motorcycle, or are they just brand new buyers that come in and say, I want to go electric and I'm going to do it with a motorcycle? You know, everywhere we go, we get such a positive reception. Uh, even the uh, motorcycle riders that are skeptical, they still want to learn more and, and find out more about you know electric the, motorcycles. Yeah, the new technology is exciting. Yeah, exactly. We, we've really got customers all over the place, first-time riders, riders that haven't ridden in years, and uh, existing motorcycle riders. A lot of times motorcycle riders love that, the feeling of it, the vibration, the noise, you know, that power of it, and now it's kind of like silent and zoom as it goes by. How, how are they receiving that? Yeah, you know, it, it's a totally new experience for for any motorcycle rider so they they really they get off the bike and they're not even concerned about the noise they're not even thinking about it they're like wow that was incredible you know I just hit the throttle and I I go there's no clutch it's so quiet I mean it's they they love it and so you've seen that they've come a long way they're pretty powerful now right yeah this bike right here will do almost 90 miles an hour wow so tell us about this bike right here this bike right here is the 2012 Zero S. It's made by Zero Motorcycles in Santa Cruz, California. Local. I love that. And so, so I'm familiar with electric vehicles or even more so hybrid vehicles. Is there, is there similarities between the technology of an electric vehicle and a motorcycle or is it really kind of different just because of the size and where components are? Sure. It's, it's very similar. You know, it's got an electric motor, a battery, um, and just like uh, any other motorcycle, two wheels and a seat. And so when you drive it, it's going to be a little bit different. Does everything shut off when you come to a complete stop or, you know? Yeah, sure. You know, the, uh, the electric motor doesn't have to stay spinning. It does, unlike a gas motor, which you stop it spinning, it stalls. The electric motor just stops. It's not, as long as you're stopped, you're not consuming any electricity, no power. Nice. Zero emissions. Mm -hmm. So I like the name for the zero. Yeah, the cost of ownership on an electric motorcycle is next to nothing. There's no oil changes, no tune-ups, no gas. Right, no oil changes. That's great. It, it costs you probably about you know one to two cents a mile to ride it. So ten thousand miles, you're looking at less than two hundred dollars in electricity. Now, being an electrical engineer, are you able to kind of take this apart and know what you're doing, or? Sure, we, <laughs> we do everything uh, at the shop here. We uh, service them, we customize them, we repair. So uh, we even build uh, custom electric motorcycles from time to time. Is there any kind of tax incentive now to, to have an electric bike? Or? Yeah. yeah, there's yeah. a number of tax incentives. They vary from state to state. Here in California, we get $900 back. Do you need some kind of special charging station? Yeah, well, there's a couple options. So you can plug it into a standard outlet. Uh, you know, any outlet, like you'd plug in your laptop or your cell phone, plug it right in. Uh, cell phone, motorcycle. Exactly. And, and <laughs> That's just, a little new. And just like a cell phone, plug it in as often as you can and you never have to worry about it. There are other options for charging. We can install uh, what's known as a, a J plug. It's the standard EV charging station plug like a Chevy Volt or a Nissan Leaf uses. So, okay. so that way you can take advantage of all the charging stations that are around town. And we even have quick charging capabilities on this bike that'll uh, take your charging time down to you know two hours or less and and it's it's such a different machine you know this is a bike that you can ride every day you never have to worry about any maintenance costs you know other than putting air in the tires checking your brakes every once in a while and plugging it in there, there's nothing to do it's it's ready to go whenever you are so and it's got instant torque <laughs> now how does the power band work as far as i don't know and the difference between that and and the traditional motorcycles well uh, electric motors are known to have instant torque right off the line uh, from the factory, they're adjusted to be, you know, reasonably torquey off the line, but uh, there's definitely some room for adjustment there. We can also uh, re-gear it and, you know, just like 
a motorcycle where you can program the EFI settings and you know play with the gearing and do a number of other uh, modifications to, to suit your needs, we can we can do that with the uh, electric motorcycles. I'm getting a big smile on my face because I'm going to learn how to ride a motorcycle today. I've always been on the back. I'm the on the back girl, but today I'm going to learn how to ride an electric motorcycle because it's supposed to be a lot easier than a traditional motorcycle, right? Oh yeah, you're going to get right on it. You'll, you'll see how easy it is. Uh -huh. You're going to love it. All right. Here we go. Are you ready to see me ride a motorcycle? Josh, this is my first time on a bike and you need to tell me everything I need to know. Every little detail. There's not enough information I can know. Okay. All right. So what we have to do, first of all, is get a few uh, safety options. Uh, the kickstand, it won't go anywhere without the kick, the kickstand up. Should I so kick it? You can, you can kick it. Okay. So okay. It's ready to go there. Then you jump on. All right. Okay. Oh, my God. oh, look, my feet can go flat. So That's nice. Hand on the brake there. Otherwise, the bike can okay. roll away. So this is the handbrake. This yeah. keeps me in place. Is there any other brake? Yep, foot brake. Foot Down brake. Here, right foot brake, and that's your rear. Okay. Your front is your right. Seventy percent of your braking is done in the front, so the front does the majority of the braking. Okay. Okay. So then we need to just turn the key on. All right. Okay. It's probably really quiet. So it's on. It's just doing its little startup sequence. Did you right? hear that? I heard nothing. Okay. So now we just all we got to do, we've got the the safety switch here. Safety on, switch. On and off going nowhere right now. Okay. So we have to just click that on. While I hold the brake. While you hold the brake. Muy importante. Yeah. Okay. Safety switch engaged. Okay. And the other, other feature here, we've got sport and eco mode. Oh. I'm just going to put you in eco mode. Eco. I like the eco mode. Get better range. <laughs> better range for the batteries. So, and then we're, uh, then we're good to take off. All you have to do is release the brake and uh, throttle and Throttle here on the right. And what's this? That's your horn. Oh! <laughs> no, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> All right. Okay. Shall we go? Sure. All right. My first time. Here we go. Mm -hmm.